Well, hello. And we are back with Money Market Hedge Receipts this time. We did payments. Um, you might want to pause the video and have a look at my little example there. Okay. So, I'm guessing you've paused the video. I'm guessing you've copied it all down. Or you're not. You're just pretending. Um, and we do our same diagram again. So, we say, right, how much money do I need to pay in the future? 400000 Got to be careful though, because it's three months. I do my diagram, I go all the way back to now, and then I go all the way back to the future again. Okay, so I need to know first of all, foreign and home. Right, the first thing is is that uh, it's a receipt. So I want to take the exchange rate now, but I need to know what the bank will do. Okay, with a receipt, I now have some foreign currency in my hand. What will the bank do? They will buy it off me. So the bank will buy high. So we can do that straight away. The bank will buy high. Let's go to the spot rates. The high rate then is 1 1.8361. So I will divide something by one point. I've forgotten already. 1.8361. Okay, then the only other things you need to remember is, right, well, what rates do I use? If you remember when it was a payment, you only have to remember one of them. It's the opposite. The payment was the foreign deposit, so this one will be foreign borrowing. And the payment was the home borrowing, so this must be the opposite, a home deposit. Okay, I'll explain why as we go along. I'm just trying to give you a little shortcut, really. So, first of all, the idea is, is that uh, we're going to receive 400,000, but we don't have 400,000 now then to make this exchange now. So I have to borrow it, uh, and I'm going to borrow it abroad. And the rate I've been given abroad, so in the USA, the borrowing rate is 5.1%. So you'd think you'd divide by one point. Uh, 051 except you won't because that would be as if it was for a year so you divide that by four okay which is uh which is something i can't i don't know what it is but anyway uh so you divide it by i can actually tell you what you divide it by you actually divide it by 1.01275 Okay, so 400,000 divided by 1.01275, that means I now need 394,964 dollars. Okay, so I'm going to use that 394,964, I'm going to divide it now because the bank will buy those dollars off me now at 1.8361, which will give me in sterling... It will give me something, it will give me 215,110. Okay, and I've borrowed it and I've got that, and that's good news because what I can now do is put that on deposit. So I put it on deposit, my home deposit, I'm in sterling, so I've got to times it then by one point something, going back forwards again in time. The home deposit rate, UK look, is 4.5%. But I'm not going to times it by 1.045 because that's for a year. I'm going to times it by 4.5% uh, divided by 4, which is 1 point, uh, 1 point something. 1.00125 or something, I think. Yeah, anyway, you would do that. And if you get that all right in your calculator, you will get to 2. Hundred and seventeen five three oh, and that's a receipt. So obviously, the bigger that figure is, the better, and that's the answer you're looking for. So let's do a recap on all that. Then you go there, you go there, you go there. If it, that one's always foreign, that one's always home. This is always now. So if it's a payment, it's the foreign. Deposit account and the home borrowing. And if I'm making a payment, then the bank will need to sell. And remember, it will sell low. The opposite way round then for a receipt, you will still go like that. That will still be now. This will still be foreign. This will still be home. 
Whereas on a payment, it was the foreign deposit. You now therefore know this is the home borrowing. And therefore, this is the home deposit. And the bank, as it's a receipt, the bank will buy that off me. And they always buy high. OK, and then always, of course, we're trying to get to that figure. The X on the payment, you want it to be small as possible. The X on a receipt, you want it to be as big as possible. And that's it. So uh, my advice would now try and do all the examples I give you and become a little expert on money market hedges. And yeah, they're good questions, actually, when you get used to them. Just be careful of that extra, of that um, timing. If they give an annual rate, divide it by two. If it's six months, by four. If it's three months. But otherwise, I think you'd be good.